Hey y'all, so today I am in downtown Dallas. So I am doing a little bit of shopping. So I am going to go to some stores. I am going to start at Anthropology. Next to Anthropology, there is a Crate and Barrel and then the Real Real is actually right down the street. That's the main reason why I came was to go check out the brick and mortar Real Real store and see how it is. And hopefully I can get some video in there. Maybe I'll get a little free coffee. We'll see. I don't know. So hot. Don't need coffee anyway. But <laughs> we shall see. But I will try to do a little bit of filming in these stores. I um, maybe do some pictures just in case. But um, yeah, let's go have some fun. Once inside Anthropology, you can see the different styles they have. You can tell that there's a lot of white. They have crop tops still. They have some faux vegan leather. This was, excuse me, a cute black jumpsuit. A lot of pinks, florals. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This was a faux pink leather pant. Excuse the filming, new to this, but Maeve was going at it with the Colette pant there. Um, there is a black moto biker vest. Oh, and the home side here was just absolutely gorgeous. So many candles. Oh, so many candles. It was absolutely lovely. They have a lot of collaborations that I noticed, as well as books, dining wear. I mean, there is just anything your little boho heart could dream of. This mushroom pillow was absolutely stunning they had some beautiful stemware as well a lot of colors in the glassware again excuse the filming <laughs> cocktails in color was that book and that totally explains the vibe right there so yeah I just it was so lovely lots of mushrooms and florals and pumpkins and leaves and acorns a lot of fall going on. I was so excited. These had a neat look to them. Some little mushroom bowls. Again, that was a very popular thing I saw there. Collaboration there. Here's another uh, popular thing. They had some glass blown like acorns and pomegranates. They were really neat. Butterflies on plates. This uh, little serving set was neat. Little spoons. Had some acorns, different things. I believe that was like $25. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Lots of black, too. Lots of black. Oh, here's some more. Um, I believe that's a pumpkin or a squash or a gourd. $20 for that. Gorgeous. Oh, and the blankets. The blankets. So soft. These blankets were $98, but oh, they were so soft. Be great for a gift for somebody. Little rabbits there. These pillows were stunners too. Absolute stunners. This one had a lot of different embroidery on it. Excuse the filming here, but I think you can get the idea of this like cardigan duster type of thing. Oh, it was gorgeous, like a sunset. Sunrise and sunset is what I was going through in my mind with these gorgeous, with a little halters, what they had it paired with, or halter bralette type thing. Look at these flare faux leather pants. Flare, y'all. This was an absolute stunner. This is like a kimono, and they had it in these two different colors with these embellished, like, ruffle bell sleeves. Gorgeous. Next up was the Pilcrow section. This was a denim maxi, or denim, yeah, maxi length skirt. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So you can find those in the thrift all the time. Classic denim jacket. That was from Dear John. I wasn't sure if this was a dress or a skirt, but definitely Wednesday Adam vibes. 
moto jacket. These are some Mother Superior jeans. I saw the regular Mother brand as well. There's that famous M on the pocket. This was a little section they had in the back called, I believe, the Shoe Shop. Had It reminded me of like a Forever 21, but just a lot higher priced. So went in there and uh, checked things out. These were interesting. Coconuts by Matisse. They look like little Danish clogs to me. Saw some different brands. Here's some cute Doc Martin loafers. Docs, they just, they're timeless. They are timeless. Very cool. So, uh, these, I wasn't sure. I tried to show the brand. They were quite expensive, but they didn't really feel high quality, so I wasn't sure on that. Some block heel booties. And then we have the Birkenstocks. So again, timeless Birkenstocks. They just never go away. These are some other brand Birkenstock lookalikes. Woven bags were really in. <clears throat> they had these ones and then they had some um, of the uh, these were super cute too. They're like a big Arizona buckle with the third strap on the back. These were some interesting faux leather bags. Pretty simple, really. Um, not really surprised by those. The knockoff everywhere belt bag from Lulu. These were some faux leather bucket hats. I found that interesting. I think you'd sweat. Here's another woven bag. Reminds me of the um, seat belt style bags. Um. Yes. I see the real There it is. We are on Knox Street, downtown Dallas. This is across the street. Some lovely apartments, it looks like. But here it is. I'm going to go in and see what I find. This is a Zimmerman dress. It is absolutely gorgeous. If you know this brand, this brand is totally worth any pickup. Any of these brands are, but um, this is just a stunner. They put their tags at the bottom of the dresses, which was kind of interesting. Um, gosh, and they didn't allow a whole lot of videoing in the store, so I got a couple, but um, you'll see in the dressing room here. This is an Alexander McQueen absolutely love it love this I had to try it on you'll see that in a minute but <laughs> those sleeves are just so flattering made in Italy absolutely gorgeous stunner stunner it's not his typical style it's not the black dark type of aesthetic he goes for so I really found it super interesting this Agua by Agua Bendita. She is absolutely lovely. Got some yellow canaries on her. She is short, but she is gorgeous. Here we are, the Alexander McQueen. This is a Bottega Veneta. <laughs> Has purple patent leather with that Lucite heel. You want $5.75 for it? Interesting. These Pradas are like kitten heel and sport mode with a pointy toe. <laughs> I wasn't sure what to make of those. Like if I think the Good Witch in um, Wizard of Oz would have wore those. This is an interesting piece from Low. If you know the brand, it's definitely worth a pickup. I found some shoes by them, some white little um, sandals by them. There's that tag there. Great brand, they make some weird stuff. And um, <laughs> definitely pick it up. This gold stunner here, it is a gold jumpsuit. It felt horrible, the material was awful. Uh, but, you know, it's interesting. It's by Celine, has new tags, and it was $1,600, so. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It was just super interesting to me. This is a Valentino rainbow striped dress. Over $2,000. Was on sale though, if you could afford that. <laughs> Here I am trying on the gold jumpsuit. It would not zip in the back, even though it was a large. Designer sizing is just odd. Those buttons were 
amazing too. But yes, I kept my tennis shoes on. <laughs> oh, this little guy, it was so darling. This guy here was $44,000. Isn't that crazy? Thank y'all for shopping along with me. We'll see you next time.